Okay, you've got 9.0 installed on your computer and now you're wondering how you get that 8.7 job that you're working on or the 8.7 templates and assemblies that you've created over to 9.0. Well the process is pretty simple so let's get started. In the upper left hand corner we're going to click on the Plan Swift application icon and you'll see the import jobs and templates option. I'll go ahead and select that the wizard's going to walk you through importing all of your items. Now you have the option to select your jobs as well as your templates. Uh, for this first example I'm just going to bring my templates across. Now I don't have a network location specified which is why this is grayed out. But what this wizard is going to ask is um, I'm bringing my local templates and where do I want to store it in 9.0? Now I have a local and a network. I had set up a network previously. Um, so I could set, choose to save this locally or to my network location. But uh, for this example, I'll leave it set to local. I'll click Next. It's loading my templates from 8.7. Depending on how many you have, this could take some time. Once my templates have loaded, you'll see they'll show up with a, uh, a menu where you can drop down and actually select specific items. Click the parent and you can bring in all the items. So I'm just going to select my parts. Now you can see uh, it's not going to import any jobs, but it's going to import 510 templates that I have created. So I'll click import now. It's running through. Okay, the import's complete. We can see we processed 510 local template items, processed zero network template items, it's saving my changes. Now, if it had any errors or any problems during that import, they would be listed here in red. So we've successfully imported our items. I'll click Finish. Now those items should be in my templates. There's my parts and all my items. I can expand that. It looks like everything has come through just fine. Now once you've imported your items, I would suggest trying some of them out, especially if you have some pretty complex items with, with special inputs or anything like that and just try some of those out and make sure they're still functioning the way they would because you got to remember this is an import it's the the whole file structure for 9.0 has changed and then if it needs any uh, slight modification you can still go in uh, edit the properties of that item by going into the advanced tab and that should have everything listed out for you now let's go back and import a job from 8.7 to 9.0 so again we're going to go to the plan swift application menu select import jobs and templates this time I don't want my templates but I just want my job again I only have a local option selected click next now, so now it lists out all of our jobs um, and again we can just select the ones that we want to import select the job I want to import or if I have a job in a specific location on my computer I can browse to wherever that location might be I'll select next. It tells me it's ready to import one job. Again, it's finding all of the images, um, finding any templates that were used. Um, it's processed that job. I go to my open job dialog. We can see that the test project that I brought in has come through. I'm going to select that project, click open job going to process and open that job on my screen. That's all there is to importing jobs and templates um, as mentioned earlier in the video. I uh, just recommend that you check everything after you've done an import to make sure everything is still in its correct location. Um, also uh, just as a, a side note when the import process runs your items are still in 8.7 
It's just merely a copy that is run through the uh, import tool. So if something doesn't import right, you can actually go back and uh, uh, import it again um, or just keep it in 8.7.